iOS 11 developer beta 5 has been released and in this video we're going to take a look at what beta 5 does offer. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 11 developer beta 5 has been released. A lot of people are titling this beta 5. It basically is beta 5 for developers. You have to have a developer account to download this. Now the public beta 5 should be coming soon as well or public beta 4. And let's go down here and check out the settings. And we're going to go ahead and go into the about section to check my storage before we go ahead and update this 98.13 gigabytes. So we can see if it does get, you know, give us more storage on the next update. But before we go ahead and do the update, let's go into Geekbench and let's go ahead and run a CPU benchmark to see the score here on the prior beta, developer beta 4, to see if it does get better when we update into beta 5 and then we're going to talk about a lot of the new features that come with it so stick around okay guys so for ios 11 developer beta 4 we did get 2538 on the single core and 4435 on the multi-core keep that in mind for when we go to beta 5 so let's go ahead and install that now here and i'll be back once this thing is done installing so you can see we are now in ios 11 beta 5 as you can see the note here you are now updated into ios 11 okay guys so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go into the settings and check that storage to see if we gain any here on ios 11 beta 5 and we did you see right here 98.81 gigs so we did gain some space here and let's go ahead and run quickly that geekbench feature before we go ahead and talk about the new features that come in this update so i'm going to run it here this is on the 6s plus and we'll be back to see if the scores improve signifying that beta 5 performance is improving so you can see we finished with a single core score of 2540 here on developer beta 5 and 4447 on multi-core here signifying a slightly better performance update here on this new version so one of the first new changes in developer beta 5 is the settings icon is now black here behind the little toggles you can see right there it is black and the camera icon removes the lines now to see a comparison you could see the difference here with a ios 10 device it's gray behind the settings icon there and it does have lines in the camera so you can see the slight difference there and this is nice to see that apple is updating their icons throughout these betas meaning that i iOS 11 should feel a little bit different going forward when the final official version does come. Another new feature here in iOS 11 beta 5 is this control center widget or icon. You go in here and you see this guy right here. You can go ahead and connect to your iPhone, your AirPods and stuff like that straight from this widget. So that's also new here in iOS 11 beta 5. In addition to that, if we go into weather here on beta 5, let's go into weather and you could see these things right down here where it says the hours is actually a little bit smaller than it was in the prior update so when i said earlier it was bigger down here well at least it got a little smaller up here where it says the hours and the weather right here the days so that's a nice touch there if you didn't want to see ios 11 get so large so going back home we're going to go into the control center again and you can see if we do tap record now three two one you can see that it does show red here when you go back it'll show the red bar here instead of the blue bar which you know makes a little more sense it is a screen record so we would expect it to be that color so that's new here in developer beta 5 as well so heading into settings, iOS 11 beta 5 does remove the iCloud feature for your iMessages. So that will be coming back in future updates, but just keep aware of that, that iMessaging for iCloud is going to be gone in this update. So you can see right here on the notifications tray where it does show the music, this is a little bit different as well. You can now see the title, the artist, and you have this icon right here as well, which shows a similar functionality to the control center, but this is slightly different than iOS 11 beta 4 as well the developer edition anyway also in this beta you do see the persistent search bar in the widgets tray so you can see that it does stay there ready for search at all times here so you see in ios 11 public beta 4 that would actually disappear here it does stay persistent so you can search wherever you are in the widgets tray so that's nice to see that update here in beta 5 in iOS 11 beta 5, FaceTime live photos are enabled by default, so you might want to go ahead and turn those off if you don't want them on by default on iOS 11 beta 5. So in iOS 11 beta 5, the camera does get a leveler if you are taking pictures that are pointing down. You should see it coming in just a second. It is right here on the screen, this little leveler. You do have to have the enabled the grid lines for this to work, though. 
In this beta, you also get the ability to learn how to use the emergency SOS right built into the settings. So if you go into settings, you go to emergency SOS, you'll see exactly how to use it here in beta five. So that pretty much wraps it up here. There are many more features that come with it, but these are some of the main things you are going to notice. There's a feature in the calendar where you could drag stuff in and out and it doesn't crash no more. Also, uh, Apple helps remove some of your favorites in there. So you're going to have to wait for future betas to get some Apple health functionality back. But other than that, in terms of performance, we're going to cover this a little bit more going forward. We should see public beta four released today sometime. So stay tuned for that on the channel. Should you download iOS 11 public beta? Beta 5, well, it's the same as pretty much any of the other ones. It's still buggy. It is a beta, but it does. It is coming along pretty nicely here. And uh, if you got an A9 device and above, it runs decently smooth. It's about a 350 megabyte download, give or take, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. And anyway, if you found this video helpful, enjoyable, knowledgeable, useful, go ahead, hit that thumbs up for me down below. Nick here helping you to master your technology. I will catch you guys all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.